I was just sitting down to film this video and my brother's dropped a dropped a parcel in, so but yeah, we'll get we're basically getting to a video on how to hold masculine frame and never lose a woman again and have all the women of your dreams. But first, let's open this. Let's open this. Let's get, get a, a um, let's get a knife out. Yeah. Some sort of parcel or something. <laughs> some some sort of box or something. What do you think it is? Here we go. Let's have What's a next? look. Million. What's next? It's gold, isn't it? It's a million. Yeah, it's a gold one. Look at that. It's nice. CEO of testosterone. CEO Jack Hopkins, CEO of testosterone, passing 100,000 subs. Good work, guys. Thanks for coming along yeah, on the journey. Thanks for bringing this up. All right, what a perfect good. time to bring it up. Yeah, just doing the video. Middle of a video. Spot on. Yeah. Gosh, can go and have a play with it. Want to make this video? Do with that. Go and have a play with it. Play, shows me. Shows me. All right, chaps. Let's get into the video. Thank you for hundred thousand subs. Awesome, because a lot of you messaged me even now, saying you've been around since the very start. So that means a lot to me, and I hope the videos keep giving you whatever it is that you need, um, the information and the motivation that you need to improve your lives. But. This video is very fucking important because I'm getting a lot of messages at the moment about guys that are losing girls. And the reason why is because a girl will leave if you're in a feminine frame, if the frame's all, all messed up. And what frame is, is basically how you run the relationship. Are you the one she looks up to or is your frame weak? Can she get do whatever she wants and there's you're, you're just kind of weak and you don't tell her anything? and you don't make sure she operates between certain parameters. So a lot of the West will try and make you feel like you need to be more feminine as a man. You need to have less of a masculine frame, that that's dangerous and you don't want it. That's, that's false. The girls I've spoken to, any girl that you speak to pretty much, apart from sort of green-haired fe feminist types, they are going to want a masculine frame in a man. That is what they naturally desire. That's what a lot of girls are missing out on. So I'm going to give you the key to having good relationships, good healthy relationships with women. And you should never ever lose a girl. You should never lose a girl. You might get rid of her because you want to move on or something's not quite right for you, but she, she should have you really as the king. And this is how you set that up. So number one, it, it all comes down to the art of becoming a man. And a lot of people want tips and tricks to get around that. They don't want to become a man. They just want the tips and tricks to get girls easily, to sleep with girls. Let's get one thing straight. Because I think sometimes my message gets a little bit, maybe a little bit disrupted by the fact that I see a lot of women. So people think it's all about sleeping with girls to get um, sort of feelings of pride in yourself. And that comes from sleeping with women. That's not true. There's no way of getting past the work as a man. You have to become a man. You have to become a good man, a strong man, a man with good morals, good ethics. You, you're strong. You can work hard. You've been on adventures, you're well travelled, That there's no, there's no getting around that, there's no tip or trick to solve that. And just know that you will never find fulfilment in a girl. A girl's never going to bring that. So f number one is you find fulfilment in yourself. You become reliant on yourself, you become the strongest, best version of a man that you can be. That all comes from within. Once you're satisfied with that, you can have somebody, you can have a partner, you can have somebody on the side. That, that brings an extra something to your life. But a lot of guys are just looking for that validation from women. You get that from yourself. And no matter how many women you sleep with, trust me, boys, no matter how many women you sleep with, the validation comes from yourself. So you must learn first to do things in your life that make you respect you. That's the art of becoming a man. Respect yourself first. A few ways you can do that. These are the basics. You can't even move on to any of the other stuff until this is covered or you're bound to fail. So this is the beginning of frame. It's all before the relationship's done. So all the relationship comes together after this frame is built. Physical fitness and physique. You should be between 10 and 15% body fat. You should be ripped. You should have muscles. You should look good. That's fucking non-negotiable. If you're fucking around and you're not in those parameters yet, what the hell are you doing? You've had your whole life. That's number one. If you've got no money, nothing, that's where you start. You get your body sorted out. Number two is combat ability and regular sparring. Without fighting, multiple times a week, once or twice a week sparring, you'll never feel fully fulfilled as a man, I promise you that. You need to have that challenge, you need to know that you can handle yourself. It acts as meditation, getting punched in the face. That sounds weird, but it does. It acts as a meditation for you, you will feel proud of yourself. So if, you can't, if you're not in good shape, if you can't fight yet, if you're scared of fighting still, you've got so much work to do before you look at women. Then you've got to sort your style out. Your look, 
the way you smell, your grooming, have that all sorted out, find a haircut that suits you, get some new clothes, start dressing well, start dressing a bit older, start dressing a little bit more upper class than you are. It all starts in the mind. You have to believe you're going to be a certain type of person, dress that way, feel that way, act that way every day, and then you become them. That's what I've been doing for years. I've felt the way I feel now for years, and I've just become it recently. I've just really become it. But before that, I've always felt that way. I've always been striving for it. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to raise your standards in your mind. Then you've got to get some money coming in. You've got to have business. You've got to work in sales. You've got to have labor work. Anything you can do to get money coming in. There's, there's no nobility in poverty. You have to have money coming in no matter what. And you've got to have a group of brothers around you. You've got to have good friendships with men. That's all to be taken care of before you start looking at women. And you might sleep with women and have a few little relationships here or there. But before you can really demand masculine frame, these are the things that need to be sorted out. When you dial these in, you'll be proud of yourself. You've got a great support network. You've got money coming in. You look good. You smell good. 90% of the battle's done, boys. 90% of the battle is won right there without even speaking to a woman. Now, maybe you've done this work. Maybe you're already feeling pretty good about yourself, but you're getting messed around in relationships. And now I'll teach you the art of frame. So like Trump said in The Art of the Deal, you can't negotiate if you're not willing to walk away. And that is the backbone of frame. That is the entire theory. It's the number one rule, having enough respect for yourself that you've built and your values to not put up with a girl's shit. So I'll give you a couple of examples. In a relationship with me, I would not let the girl that I'm with go on a girl's holiday to Ibiza because I know there's other G's and studs like me that are gonna want my hot girl and they're gonna get her at tables and all this sorts of stuff. And no matter how loyal she is, I don't want that going on. A lot of guys will end up in arguments with their girls, a very weak frame to have an argument with your girl. This is the example of frame. I'm going on a girl's holiday to Ibiza, lovely darling. You have fun there, but that's not the kind of girl I'm looking for. So you will not have a boyfriend when you get back. What? What do, what do you mean? I thought you were a different type of girl to that. that. That's all I was thinking about. If you want to go, it's fine. We can mess around after, but I, I won't be able to take you serious. Got that from Tate. Works an absolute charm. You're not arguing. You're giving them options. If they want to go and hoe out with their friends, they can go and do that. But that's not something that you take. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a masculine frame and saying that that's not something you want in your life. You're not saying you have to stay with me and you can't go, that's bullying. That's not what you do as a man. You just give them an option. And then you are willing to walk away. If she goes on that holiday, you go and find another girl. That's absolutely fine. Girl says to you, there's some smaller shit tests that girls try and throw into your frame. You're working too much. I wonder if we should go out together. And the way you deal with these is you say, look, you know why I've got to work. You, you explain it to them and you explain why you, you're doing certain things. And you try and come to an agreement because obviously you want your girl to feel loved. You want her to feel like you are putting time into it. You don't want her to feel like she's being neglected. Build a compromise, take her out on a certain day, because I do believe in putting love and, and effort into your relationship with women. That's very, very important. This is not about ignoring women. It's just about holding your frame to do the things that are important to you first. Stay, stay in with me, don't go to the gym. As soon as you start doing that, she will lose respect for you. That's the problem. So many guys think it the other way around. The more they do for the girl, the more she'll love him, but it's actually the less she'll love you. The, the more you pull away, the more you focus on yourself, but you show a really good time when you're together, but that time's limited, the more she's gonna love you every single time. The first part of putting that together is actually knowing your boundaries. And that's relevant for any part of life. You have to enforce boundaries with people and you can see very quickly in schools, in workplaces, the people that have never learned to enforce boundaries because they get taken a piss out of. There's certain things that even you now will know you can say to some people that you could never get away with saying to other people. And that's purely from the way you teach people to treat you. So you have to learn to teach women to treat you very, very well. In my relationships, I don't accept any kind of degrading humor. It's actually one of my least favorite things about dating in the UK when I was here before, is that girls will think that degrading humor is funny or banterous for some reason. In my life, I don't like that. I, I can have a joke and I can have some banter, but Degrading humor on a regular basis is actually a tactic that girls will use to chip away at your confidence to try and gain the upper hand. So if that ever happens to me now, I'll just very very quickly and very calmly put a girl in her place. I, I don't accept you talking to me like that or making jokes like that. So yeah, if you, if you want to do that, that's fine, but I'm, I'm not going to be around. I, I don't want to really go on a date with you if you're going to do that. And that'll stop most girls in their tracks and they'll understand, okay, he's taught me how to treat him. He doesn't accept that. He won't take shit. I'm not gonna fuck around with him because I'm gonna lose him and I want him. Also, don't accept moodiness. If I've got girls around me and they're not in a good mood, 
they have to come to me and say why they're not in a good mood. I don't accept silent treatment or any of that sort of stuff in, in my presence. Why would I? That's not something I want around me. If a girl's in my presence, I want it to be joy and happiness in my life and have a good time together. And if there's a reason that she's upset, she should come to me and explain it in a calm manner without shouting, without getting moody. That's not something that, that I take. So I'll just say, look, I can see that you're upset about something. You've got two minutes to tell me exactly what it is and explain it to me so we can sort this out. Otherwise, you're going to have to go home. I just don't accept things that I don't like and I don't let girls act in ways that I don't like because I resent them. So I don't let them do it. And if they're a girl that won't listen to me, that's when they have to go and you walk away. And that's how you end up with very, very healthy relationships that fit some very good standards. No matter what you do to hold masculine frame as a man, you must remain calm. Your girl in your eyes should be such a small little bunny rabbit or flower that the that her getting mad at you or start an argument with you just seems funny. She doesn't even, she can't even scratch the surface and you are so big and strong and formidable as a man that she cannot even get under your skin in any way. So you are always calm. And the key to building great relationships with women is never bullying or shouting or any of that shit that's abusive and unkind and that's never what you should do. It's all about choice and frame. Having a masculine frame and boundaries and giving women choices on whether they want to stay with you and learn to live with your boundaries and your rules, or if they want to go and be free and do whatever they want to do. Never bullying or aggression, never raising your voice. I've had girls tell me time and time again, well, they've, they've come into maybe my house or apartment. I don't like the way that they're acting or the way they're treating me. I've very calm, calmly told them exactly how I feel. And then I've got them a taxi and sent them home. And I've had messages time and time again from girls that say, wow, I, I can't believe how calm you were with me and sending me away. I'm never going to behave like that again. I'm really sorry. This is the reason why. And then you can start to have a conversation about it. Otherwise, you will let somebody into your life that starts to run things and you run the show. You, if you follow the first steps, you're the man. You fucking run your shit. You are operating at an elite level. That is what you should do as a man. No more mucking about. No more messing about as a man. You should be operating on all areas of your life like an elite male. That's what new elite is about. My membership club is about exactly that, becoming an elite male across all facets of your life and not, not messing about. Why are we messing about going out, doing stupid shit, taking shit from other people when we can have anything we want if we put our minds to it and we work hard at it? Anything else? Yeah, don't ever be scared of chicks. Man, I remember when I used to be scared. Like, and um, I'm not saying this like I know everything because I've done all of the mistakes and I'll probably still make mistakes, but I make sure I'm constantly learning and evolving. But the mistakes I've made before, I've been in fear of losing a woman. And the problem with that is that you, you become totally out of frame if you're ever scared of losing a woman. And you start to worry about the things you say or you do and it kills your testosterone, it kills you as a man. You start to retreat inside of yourself because you've got fear in your life every day about, oh, how, how is she going to react? Never, don't, don't be that guy. I've been that guy before. It's really horrible for your soul as a man. You never be that guy. Never fear losing a woman. Never fear having done something wrong. Women are looking for that. So when you act as a coward and you're scared of a chick, it makes her resent you massively. She needs, you need to be able to make mistakes, look her straight in the eye and tell her you made a mistake in a calm manner and say, look, it was a mistake. If you want to leave, you can leave. But there you go. I'm telling you the truth. For example, I've cheated on a girl before when I was younger and I lied and lied and lied and I didn't know that she already knew that I cheated. And I lied to her face over and over again and groveled and lied. And that made me seem like such a pussy, just a pathetic guy, because I was too scared to say that I'd even kissed another girl. If I just turn around and say, yeah, I was in the club, I was drunk, kissed another girl. Sorry about that. Obviously, I love you. If you want to stay, you can. But I understand if you want to leave, she would have been fine with it. She would have been absolutely fine with it. Because that's how I operate now. It, girls not got a problem with that a lot of the time. They've got a problem with you being a pussy. Girls already got one pussy. They don't need another one. Never be scared of chicks, because if you do lose one for making a mistake, which will happen, find another one. There's so many of them. You don't need to ever let them manipulate you or, or be scared of them. Remember, you're the leader. You're there paying the bill. This is how you should run a relationship, in my opinion. You, you should not be doing any of this soy shit. It's like fucking splitting bills and just giving up your masculinity. And Don't do that. It's, it means a lot to actually feel like a man, to have... To have a lifestyle that makes you feel like a man means a hell of a lot to the way that you operate and the way you go through life and how much enjoyment you get out of things is very, very important. You don't want to feel emasculated. You want to feel masculine in the way that you operate. So you pay the bill, you protect your woman, your guider, that makes you the leader. 
give her tasks to do. If you're the leader, one of the ways to run a relationship, I think very well, is to give her things to do to make her feel important in your life while serving the king. I believe in looking at it that way, the king and queen. You are the king of the relationship. You are giving everything to make sure she's having a good time, she's having fun, she's looked after. And in return, she serves the king. So, boys, that's my that's my take on it. And I've had a few now, and this is the sort of operation I'm running currently, and it's working incredibly, incredibly well. And the women are loving it, I'm loving it, we're having a great time. So, boys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to join the new elite, if you just need that brotherhood around you, check it out below. Click on the link, apply. You can either message me on Telegram or you can book a call to ask questions. That's up to you. If you're looking for that, those brothers to push you ahead, you want to talk more about this stuff, we talk a lot about it in New Elite, then check that out below. 10K Accelerator. If you're looking to get into high ticket sales, get in shape, get some money coming through, build a personal brand, then that's the course for you. It's all down below. Boys, it's been a pleasure and I'll see you on the next one. Whoopah, whoopah!